Hi everyone, my name is Ankush Chowdhury and welcome back to Learn My Technologies YouTube channel. I know that you are my subscriber, you are watching me from the long time because we are the topmost DBA trading center in India and now I'm coming with something new and very very interesting for you. So I'm going to talk about the PostgreSQL versus Oracle architecture. I, okay, if you are coming from Oracle DBA background and you want to understand about the PostgreSQL also then this video is going to be very very helpful for you when we generally talk about the oracle usually i'll tell you so how the oracle architecture will looks like let's take an example of oracle when you configure oracle database you will get a one database instance okay and this database instance will be connected to your database in this database i will have my all the database related files will be there so this architecture is basically a single instance architecture. You can have multi instance architecture also like let's say I will have instance number two also and this instance number two also getting connected to the same database only. This setup we call it as a Oracle rack RAC. Now let's take an example. Let's take an example. If I want to stop the instance, I can stop it. Okay, I can stop it. I can stop it. If I stop the instance, I can stop it. Right, that is possible. So in the rack database, I, I can stop my instance number one also. I can stop my instance number two also, and then I will not be able to access my database. I'll draw the another diagram. Let's take an example. I have this server is there. Under that server, there are two databases are there. Let's say there is a DB1 and there is a DB2, correct? If I want to stop this particular database, I can stop it. So basically I can stop the instance of DB1. If I want to stop DB2, I can stop the DB2 also. That is also possible, right? I can stop that particular instance. So automatically that database will be down. Okay. So basically when I have a multiple databases are there, among that if I want to stop one database, from that particular server it is possible here the different type of concept is there in PostgreSQL like if I just take an example of PostgreSQL PostgreSQL okay now let's take an example this is my physical server uh, okay which is installed with Red Hat Linux okay, Red Hat Linux here I have installed my PostgreSQL cluster I would say the terminological cluster when you say a cluster let's say this is my cluster this cluster is connected to the one instance only okay and uh, this is my instance basically under this postgresql cluster you will have multiple databases will be there like let's say db1 db2 okay so what is cluster a cluster is a combination of multiple databases in one cluster i have multiple databases are there now let's take an example I want to stop this particular database only one DB1 I want to stop so whether it is possible in PostgreSQL then no no if you want to stop this particular database it is not possible in PostgreSQL in PostgreSQL you need to stop complete cluster only so for that we have a command like pg underscore ctl stop hyphen d and you need to specify the data directory so data directory is a location where your database specific files will be created like your configuration files like your metadata files everything will be there under your data directory so when you say pg underscore city stop stop means when you say that you are stopping it it means you are stopping the complete cluster when you stop the complete cluster your all the database will be stopped db1 db2 db3 if you have three databases also so basically what I would say here, what I would say here in PostgreSQL, you will have instance, PostgreSQL instance will be there, which is connected to the multiple databases, DB1, let's say DB2, DB3. You have single instance, which is connected to the multiple database. And if you want to stop the instance, let's say you stop the instance now, so all the databases will be down. You are not able to access these databases. That's not possible. 
So if someone is asking in the interview, can I stop the particular database? Not an option. There is no options. You cannot stop the particular instance in PostgreSQL database. You might be asking like, what is this PG underscore CTL then? When I use the terminology called PG underscore CTL, this is similar like your SQL plus. If I just want to compare now, in Oracle, we fire a command like SQL plus, Lasha, sysdba. And when you say startup command, basically you are starting the instance. Here, when you say that PG underscore CTL start, it means you are starting the instance. And when you start the instance, your all the database will be accessible. Uh, provided you should have a permissions and all okay that's there if you say pg underscore ctl stop ctl stop so it means you are stopping the complete instance complete instance means if you stop the instance all the database will be stopped you cannot access those if i'm showing this practically <laughs> the real fun will be there when i'm showing you this practically right right now i do not have access to my system so let me show you this theoretically only but in the the next batch we are starting okay we are coming with the postgresql training and if you guys are interested to understand about this postgresql real time training you can reach out to the learnermate i can definitely help you with that okay and please follow me on my instagram linkedin the details are available in the description of the video if you have any questions related to the PostgreSQL, let me know. I would like to definitely discuss about that, okay?